guys my name is Christine and I am here doing my first YouTube video I have been here trying to make this thing perfect as I can but you know what ain't nothing perfect okay first of all disclaimer I am at home my baby is downstairs she's sick so she's home from school today um, so she may pop in here and disrupt this whole video but you know what we about to roll with it okay so I am Christine and I am a certified nurse midwife. I am from Chicago, Chicago native baby, shy town all day long. Okay, okay, we got that out the way. So I own a home birth practice here and in Atlanta, and I offer home birth services to families who desire um, a more natural approach to their pregnancy, um, a more intimate um, experience through their child birthing journey. So. Okay, so let's start at the top. This channel is not intended to bash hospitals, to bash doctors, to bash or speak badly about anything or any place or anyone, okay? This channel is also not intended to give you any direct medical advice either. What this channel is doing is giving, is presenting research-based data to you um, and valid data that you can use to understand concepts um, and apply that information to your own care. The Boss Mama's Birth Movement is a call to action for mothers to start taking a stand to fight against the maternal mortality rate. We can no longer wait around for providers and systems and facilities to begin to practice in a way that is safer for our mothers. We have to start, start taking a stand for ourselves, being your own best advocate, asking questions about your own care, declining and refusing mistreatment and disrespect. You have to start taking a stance and do it in a fearless way. You can't be afraid to do that because if you don't do it for yourself, who is going to do it? We can no longer afford for more women to die, more mothers to die, more black women to die. That's unacceptable. We're not doing that. We're gonna change the situation. Point blank period. The mission of the Boss Mama's Birth Movement is to empower mothers to improve birth outcomes through self-advocacy. This means, mamas, that it's time to take a stand, it's time to speak up for yourselves, and it's time to get proactive and informed about your own maternal health care. This, in turn, will decrease your chances for being mistreated, disrespected, or neglected. Okay, let's get into the goals. What are the goals of the Boss Mama's Birth Movement? Savannah? The first goal is to encourage mothers to become active participants in their care. Mothers, you should be seeing yourselves as a part of your own healthcare team, and we will talk about some tools to help you feel that way and be confident enough to be a part of your own care. The next goal is to highlight the importance of mothers considering themselves as consumers before becoming patients. We cannot just walk into the nearest ob gyne because it's the most convenient. We're going to talk about how to research and interview providers before hiring them to take care of you during your pregnancy. The next goal is to improve communication skills between mother and provider. Many times moms do not know how to ask questions because they don't have enough information to ask the question or they don't feel welcomed enough to ask questions to their providers. This is difficult because some providers come off as feeling like they're being challenged if mothers ask questions, but we're gonna talk about how you can be confident enough with the information that you have and need to ask questions that are pertaining to your care um, during your pregnancy. Another goal is to decrease poor outcomes by educating moms regarding their pregnancies, labor, and birth options. Another goal is to recognize the unhealthy practices of a provider. If you are under the care of a provider and feel as though you are not being hurt or taken care of properly, then you have the right to say, you know what, I'm going to seek another provider or I'd like to request another provider because that is your right. If you don't feel safe and comfortable under someone's care, you have the right to switch providers and change your care, period. You don't need to explain it to, any, to anyone. You don't need a long drawn out explanation about why you made that decision. You can request someone else to care for you, period. 
The final goal of the Boss Mamas Birth Movement is to bring more awareness to full spectrum birth planning. What does all that mean? Basically, it means that mothers are having a more proactive approach when it comes to planning for the events surrounding their childbirth experience. Um, a lot of times I feel like women, me and me too, um, we just go with the flow. We go with the flow. We're just having a baby. Our moms and aunties and cousins, we've seen them all have babies. Everyone's just been just fine. You know, no one's had any issues. I'm just going to do what they do. That's fine if that's your approach. But if you want to be more of a participant in your own experience, feeling like you are in control of your experience and putting things in place for your best interest, you know, you should have a more of a proactive approach to your care. My intention is not to make you feel like you can control everything that may or may not happen. However, I am saying that the things that you can control and prepare for, you should be doing those things during your pregnancy. You should be lining those things up. For instance, um, if you plan to breastfeed, you know, and you are having some issues with breastfeeding after giving birth to your baby, instead of seeking help during a crisis situation that may risk your breastfeeding journey with your baby, um, you already have interviewed a lactation consultant or gone to a class of hers and met her and you've exchanged numbers and you know you're reaching out to her. You know exactly who to reach out to if you're having issues during, during uh, your lactation. She can come on over to the house, help you with your baby, give you some tricks and tips on breastfeeding, and you're good. You feel supported. You have someone to call when you have a question, right? Another example is um, postpartum care. If you have more than one baby and you have other children, who's going to help you take care of your children? Who's going to help transport your children to and from school while you recover and breastfeed your newborn? Who is going to help them with homework? Who's going to help you uh, with meals, right? Who can bring over some nutritious meals for you and your family as you recover from childbirth? We can move forward to mental health providers. 70% of women experience baby blues after giving birth. Who can you call? Do you have a provider that you can call and say, hey, I have my baby, she's two weeks old, and I'm feeling like I'm not myself and I need to talk to someone? That's not something you want to be researching in the middle of the moment of feeling unsupported, sad, scared, fatigued, etc. Okay, so that is being proactive, having a proactive approach in planning for all of the elements and events surrounding your birth that may or may not happen. Having the resources available to you is key. Hey Boss Mamas, thank you for watching my video. There are so many more on the way, so make sure you press the subscribe button, share with your girlfriends, and let's start getting informed. Welcome to the Boss Mamas Birth Movement.